As Britain prepared to leave the EU, a small party thrown in central London by a handful of Brexit's most ardent supporters. It's really great to have a day where everyone's smiling, everyone's got their flags out. All we can do now is look to the future and hopefully this, this country will prosper now that we haven't got a chain around our ankles. Much of the country is more muted though. Yes, this is a moment of huge national significance, but little actually changes until the transition period finishes at the end of the year, and it's not yet clear where the country is heading. This is the man currently in the UK's driving seat. Before he got the job, many thought it wasn't a natural fit. But in December, Boris Johnson won a crushing landslide election victory on the promise that he'd finally get Brexit done. Britain seemed to have voted to put three years of arguing and political paralysis behind them. But plenty see the argument that something titanic has been achieved as so much hot air. Like in Northern Ireland, for example, which is more exposed to Brexit's uncertainties than anywhere else in the UK. It completely recasts, reshapes the political and economic conversation across the island, between the island of Ireland and Britain and right across the continent. So this isn't an end point, this is very much a beginning. Certainly the heavy lifting, sorting out the UK's trade relationship with Europe, everything from fishing to financial services, is still to come. All the political signs in the UK are that the UK wants to diverge from the, from the EU, not to be part of the sort of uh, sphere of influence of the European Union. But all the sort of dynamics of the negotiations point to a quick deal, and a quick deal means trying to come up with alignment in key areas that are going to be in the EU's interest. In Europe, the message is clear. The more the UK will diverge from EU standards, the less access to the single market they will have. The EU will be looking to its own priorities and trying to solve its own challenges. The UK is already receding in importance. We want to have the best possible relationship with the United Kingdom but it will never be as good as membership. The EU wants to show there's little to be gained from walking out the door. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, London.